Now to the travel nightmare that continues to unfold at airports across the country. According to FlightAware, more than 3,000 flights were canceled just today. Some because of bad weather, many others because of a lack of airline staff grounded by COVID infections. Our Taisha Walker is live for us now at Bush International Airport with a look at what this could mean for future travel plans. Taisha. Lauren, a majority of the flights that are either arriving into IAH or departing have been on time today. But if you look up and look at, say, that Seattle flight, you could see that it is listed as canceled. That has been some of the frustrations that some of the travelers have been met with today. Travelers hoping to head home to Los Angeles on the 8.30 p.m. Spirit flight are forced to spend another night in Houston after their flight was canceled. Seven of us, yeah, and two, two elderly, too, uh, my grandparents. They're not really doing anything about it. And I had to wait another three days to take the flight back and I'm like I cannot do that. We have work. We have a lot of things, right? Airlines are working to get more wheels off of the ground after weather in certain parts of the country and COVID related staffing shortages led to delays and cancellations over the busy Christmas weekend. Today alone, thousands of flights were canceled. The airlines are playing catch up. A lot of dominoes started falling with delays and cancellations and we're well over 1200 cancellations today, over 5000 delays. So that's unfortunately probably going to still be impacting flights tomorrow. Kathleen Bangs with FlightAware, a company that helps travelers track flights for free, says the surge of travelers this year challenged airlines, many operating with a smaller fleet of planes and pilots than pre-pandemic. Thanksgiving was a great test because, as you might recall, we had three big meltdowns from August through October with Spirit Airlines, with American, and with Southwest. Bangs says January 2nd is expected to be another busy travel day with many people returning from their holiday destinations. She says at FlightAware, they'll be observing the weather between now and the start of the new year. We saw a lot of weather cancellations in the Pacific Northwest and actually just the West Coast all over was impacted. Those families hoping for a better travel day tomorrow. We did meet a couple of other travelers who tell me they have to spend the night here at the airport. That is their only option. Others are looking into whether they may be able to rent a vehicle and then drive back to their hometown. Uh, we do have some advice from Flight Aware. Be sure to check your travel before leaving at home just to make sure that your flight has not been interrupted at all. And also to stay tuned to weather just in case any major systems could impact your travel. Reporting live from IAH tonight, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.